Ava the King's pet is the tiger, right, from the DLC. So, just for the fact that I didn't steamroll it, I'll give it a C, but it also wasn't super memorable. The terrain was really cool. I really liked that Dark Souls 2 DLC where everything was just frozen and shit. I thought the whole environment was cool, but the tiger itself, I wasn't too big of a fan. Is Abyss Watchers classic. I like the Abyss Watchers, and you even get that, like, a uh, helper, Red, who just starts slapping his brothers around for fun. You can't go wrong with the Abyss Watchers. That's always just super nice. Oh, this is that eagle guy with the huge tits. Oh, yeah. When we were doing our Dale playthrough where I was just going around, like, fisting everything, going for the disarm techniques with the hands of God, this took, like, actually 40 minutes of just straight DPS because I couldn't do damage because the hands of God are just the worst weapons ever made in video games. I will say it's a cool boss, though. It has the giant tongue, the big old honkers. And it's controlled by some kind of celestial eagle phoenix thing. Aldia Scholar of the First Sin. That's the tree guy at the very end, right? The guy that helps you throughout the game, but then at the very end you have to kill him for the final boss, yeah. The fight was basically just dodge his fire, and then just start swinging, and then dodge his fire, and then start swinging. Cool boss, though. Like, design-wise, I actually think it looks pretty cool. But it's just not a very fun fight. Yes, he's cool from a lore perspective. Yeah, I don't know Dark Souls lore. I love the idea of Dark Souls lore, but I, I'm i not deep enough in it to really understand it. My brain's too small. I'll give Aldia a B, just because I think it's a cool looking boss and he was cool throughout the game, but the fight with him is kind of trash. In fact, I'm going to drop it to a C. Aldrich's a pretty cool one. And there's a really cool glitch where you can just go under the map and attack his little tail. He has like this giant sack that hangs under the map and you can glitch out and just start slapping at it and kill him for free. I don't have any major complaints about it. I think this would probably be a B tier boss. He uses those long range arrows, those purple magic arrows and shit, and he slithers around. I give it a, I give it a B. Ancient Dragon is absolute dog shit. Not a hard boss, just a stupid one. You just camp his left leg. And he just never hits you, and then he flies up in the air a little bit, and then comes down. The journey to Ancient Dragon is also a giant headache. Yeah, there's just nothing cool about Ancient Dragon. I think Ancient Dragon is just absolutely awful. I'm gonna give that one as low as you can go. That's going right into the F. Actually, I'll give it an E, just because it's a cool dragon, I guess. And since I'm already clearly taking into account how things look with the Adjudicator at fucking S tier with the big titties. Oh, this is the scripted one where you go up to the top and you just the top turnbuckle and you super slam on his head and it insta kills him. This is the this is the worst boss. This one is awful. Again, I guess cool design but completely useless considering you don't actually have to fight it. It's just a gimmick boss and the worst kind of gimmick boss. That's just going to be an F. It's a worse ancient dragon. Armor Spider, I absolutely hate that. Recently just did that on my Demon Souls replay. I hate it. I think the whole fight is super unfun. Having to like run through tunnel when he does the uh, oil plus flame attack. The webs being so sticky that you guaranteed take a shot. I just didn't like anything about the fight. This one's not good. Armor Spider, I'm gonna bring down to an E. Well, it's definitely not as bad as Ancient Dragon. In terms of like its design, I'll bring it to a D, I guess. I don't remember Armored Warrior. Oh, this is the guy who says Steven on the way down, right? Or whatever. Stan. Sal. Who does he... Sh he shouts his son's name when you kick him off the edge. Robert... Oh, Roberto. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roberto. This guy's cool. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. There we go. Oh, come on. There you go. <gasps> English dub, ew. Uh, yucky. B tier. A tier. Yeah, A tier. Eh, B tier. Asylum Demon's a classic. Not like a super hard fight, not a whole lot of mechanics, but... Asylum Demon is the first thing people think of when they think of Dark Souls. This really started it all. I remember when Dark Souls first came out, there were so many people just stuck on Asylum Demon. 
It's just a classic boss, honestly. Very influential. I think this one has to just go into S tier. It's just the actual poster child for Dark Souls and a lot of the videos of making my mom try Dark Souls and her raging at Asylum Demon. I'll give it an A just because it's not like a good boss. It's just such an influential one. This one's trash. This is F tier for sure. It's not even a fun gimmick either. Better Chaos, absolutely F. All oh, the gargoyles. That's another good one. Oh, I forgot they came back in Dark Souls too. That was the first time in Dark Souls where they let you know, we don't care if you're outnumbered, you just have to get good. Yeah, that's gonna go to... Mm, A's a little high for me, I'm gonna put that at a B. Oh, this is Dark Souls 2 Belfry gar Gargoyles. Were they any different? This looks significantly less cool. They put six, three at a time, it was shit. Yeah, this looks worse. Okay, so we'll do Belfry, Gargoyles, Dark Souls 2 at a C, and Dark Souls 1, B. Here, you know what? Just to appease chat, I'll put it to a D. The Burnt Ivory King's the one where you have to drop down into that lair and kill a bunch of ads, and then the Ivory King himself comes out, right? <clears throat> In the DLC. Yeah. Super cool boss, super cool concept where you take in your little soldiers with you. Your little mirror knights, and you guys drop into the shadow realm. But I really was super frustrated because you have to go through so many of these guys just to get the Ivory King to spawn. And I'm never a fan of the difficulty coming from just ads. I'd rather the boss just be difficult and fun with cool mechanics. And when the Ivory King actually does come out, he's just really underwhelming. The challenge was definitely in just defeating the guys to get there. I'll put Ivory King as a C. Also, I hated that the dogs were here, but... It wasn't great. Who likes him? I remember when the game came out, there was a lot of love for the Capra Demon. Yeah, just tight quarters, the dogs come in, and I just don't think Capra Demon himself is all that cool. I'm gonna put him at a C. Eh, C's a little generous. Probably a D. Yeah, this, oh, this is the guy that comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You make the run all the way over here. You grab that armor set, which is a really good set, if I remember correctly. And then you just wait out and cheese and you attack his tip, right? Yeah, that's this guy. I'll go ahead and definitely put this above Ancient Dragon just because you get to attack his wiener. There you go. And then you just hit this one time and it insta-kills him. It's his arm? No, it's def that is not an arm right there, my man. That's an uncircumcised cock. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a D. I remember the centipede demon's just annoying. It's not really a fun fight. This is kind of a lame boss. This boss looks about as underwhelming as I remember. I didn't even fight him on the remaster. I just didn't want to bother. That's D tier for sure. Yeah, the gang squad. I remember this now. This is not to Dark Lurker. This is to the DLC fighter. This is Sin. Oh, this is the Sin route. Oh. Uh, Alright. I did every boss in Dark Soul. In, uh, like, all the Souls games when we did the replay. I just don't remember them. But they didn't look bad. The gank squad seemed fine. I'll probably just put them at a C. Not very memorable, but... You know, you got Havel there, which is cool. This one wasn't bad. And then they bring in the wolf and it gets really fucking intense. Underwhelming. I tried doing this really low level and I just couldn't. It was super hard for me. But then I came back at appropriate soul level and it was pretty easy. Not as cool as Sif, but still cool. I'll give it a C. Well, I'm gonna give it a B actually. I like that. I think it's a cool design. 
Yeah, champion Gandir is cool. Yeah, this one's this is a free A tier right here. Champion Gandir is a classic. Easy A. I wouldn't go S. No big titties like the Adjudicator. Speaking of big titties, Chaos Witch, that's S tier. Like that. It's a cool fight regardless of the the titties, which are always great, but the fight itself is also really cool. When you do a soul level 1 playthrough, which I did on stream for a little while, you have to use the, the girl that, I think it's the butcher or whatever. She uses the piece of wood as well as the giant cleaver. And you just have to camp and hope that she kills the, the witch. And that was so fucking frustrating. You just have to fucking wait for Mildred to do anything, but Mildred's AI is so brain dead, Mildred usually just ends up getting stuck and abused by uh, Keylog. Great boss, though. Super cool boss. Why didn't you help? On a soul level 1 playthrough, you just die to anything that she throws out, so... The strat for soul level 1 is you have to just let Mildred do most of the work and then you finish it off. You can do a uh, sneak attack off the back wall, insta-kill if I remember correctly, on the Corrupted Monk. Just a cool looking boss, cool fight. I'm just gonna bring that to a B. Oh, it's this guy that just rolls around the job of the hut thing. Yeah. Uh pretty shitty boss, really. It looks like that thing that pops out of that dude's chest in total recall, like the little baby man. I think this is gonna have to be <laughs> Yeah, probably F. It's just not a good boss. It's just so stupid. Alright, easy. Crystal Sage, not a great boss either. It's kind of boring. You just have to keep guessing on the proper one. And he only really does two attacks. You don't see very many, like, wizards. Kind of looks like Wizardmon from Digimon. I think the design's cool, but the fight just kind of sucks. There's just a free bit of souls. I'm just gonna bring that. D's a little too low, I think. I'll just bring it to a C. Cursed, rotted, great wood. That's the the tree with the nuts on it, right? You just have to keep popping the zits around it, and then he just spins around. And then eventually he breaks the floor, and then he like stands up and sits down. And there's no asshole, too, which is another thing that stood out to me. Because in, um... Like Bloodborne, for example, there's actual asshole physics. Well, physics is probably the wrong word. They put assholes on like the pig, which I feel like would have been really cool to add to this boss. Because he's he's in like a prime goatsy position almost, but they just didn't put the extra effort. But yeah, the boss, even aside from the missing anus, is just trash. I don't think it's F tier, but I'll just bring it down to like an E. I'd say down there with Ancient Dragon seems to fit right at home. The Dancer is S. Oh, that's such a fun boss. I really like Dancer. I think it's a great fight. So many good attack patterns. And it feels so rewarding when you do it at like a low level. Oh man, yeah. Dancer is like the actual skill test. A little skill check. Such a good boss. And the fact you can do it so early is so nice. Just to really test yourself. One of the best video game bosses of all time. Dancer's gotta be up there. It's just such a cool boss. From the design of it to just how many great attacks it has that really test you. Just such a good boss. I remember I didn't like it because he makes that like clone of himself and they just fire the same attacks and it feels unfair sometimes. I don't think it was necessarily that hard though. How many tries did it take me? I think it was like four. I think it's a cool design because he looks like the guy from Warcraft. Or, um, not Warcraft. Diablo. What's his name? Azeroth or some shit? The angel guy? The archangel? Tyrael. Yeah. I think it's a great boss design, but the attacks, like the mechanics, aren't that cool. I'll give it a B. Oh, he's the hallway guy. Yeah, he's, he's the guy that just fires the soul arrows. Pretty lame. Yeah. Not too big of a fan of Gwendolyn. But then again, I don't think many people are. It's just kind of a lame fight. You just keep going up the hallway at him. 
but it's definitely low tier. I'd probably give it a D. But a D might even be a little generous. Maybe E. Mm. I don't think it's nearly as bad as Ancient Dragon or the Curse Wood. We'll go D. Deacons of the Dense kind of shit. I'm just going immediately D. I already know where that's going to fall. All you do is just keep charging. You just keep attacking some geriatrics. It's just like the... Some fucking cult dudes. You just come in here and ruin their party. I mean, it's kind of fun just to, like, blast through them. But it's just not, like, a really good fight. There is just something fun about plowing through a bunch of enemies like this. Like in Dynasty Warriors. Oh, this is just the recolored Asylum Demon. Does he do anything else, or is it really just the recolor? Has fire effects added to the attacks, but no new animations. I'm gonna keep it in F then. I just, I've never liked just reskins or recolors of things. But then again, is it as bad as something like Bed of Chaos and Covetous Demon? Probably not. I'll just bring it to E. Demon of Hatred, I'm giving S tier. Fucking fun fight from Sekido. I don't think it's the hardest boss in the game like a lot of people seem to. I still think that title comfortably belongs to Sword Saint Ishin. But I really did like this fight a lot. I thought it was super fun. And it also goes against everything the game taught you up until this point. There's very few things you can actually, like, block and parry here. It's all dodge checks. I think Demon of Hatred belongs in S tier. Fucking cool boss. Demon of Song is that toad guy, right? Who, like, pops out of the... Like, eyeball... Like, the... It, like, the skin. It's like a bunch of skin, and he, like, like pops his little goofy face out. The foreskin boss? Yeah, kinda. Bring it to a D. Oh, this is from the DLC! This boss slaps! Yeah, 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 yeah! This was cool. I like this one. I don't know if I like it as much, though, as the other S tiers. Hmm. It's either A or S for me, and I can't decide. Because the other ones are immediately memorable for me. I didn't immediately recognize the Demon Princes by name or anything. I think this has to be A tier. But yeah, Ring City, that whole DLC was so good. Dirty Colossus. Sounds like a sexual euphemism like the Cleveland Steamer. Who's the Dirty Colossus? Oh, this is the guy in the uh, the swampy area. He's actually just the Stink Master. I don't remember this being a good boss. And it definitely doesn't look like it either right now. Every boss in this whole zone is poop tier. I'll probably give this one an E. Divine Dragon, super cool boss, but not very interesting as a like a fight. Even though I don't think it's supposed to be, it's more about the impact of the moment. Like this whole like fight is just a ton of build up to get here, and then you get a really fucking visually beautiful boss. It's just a really cool gimmick boss, yeah. I think it's an A tier. Again, the fight's kind of lame. It's super easy. It's just a gimmick. But it's so cool looking. I'll give it an A. Yep. I hated this one. This is the one we have to bust through a bunch of rocks in order to make it to the... Like, the ballistas or whatever. Yeah. This boss, absolute dog shit fucking abominable tier. I hate this gimmick fight. It goes on for so long, there's nothing fun about it, you have to wait for him to not be looking at you. The only good thing about Dragon God is how he looks. It's a really cool looking boss. But my god, the gimmick is horrible. It's so anti-fun. Uh, that's going F tier. Such a wasted, beautiful design. Kind of looks like a Diet Medir. Yeah, I don't really remember it that well. 
but it seems like a fine fight. It doesn't seem like it's like bad or anything. I'll probably just put it at a B just because it wasn't memorable enough for me to like actually remember my fight with it. Apparently I did it on the remake on stream, but I just don't remember. Not the greatest of bosses. Not the worst either. I think C tier is a little too generous. It's just a super underwhelming boss. I think I'll probably put him at D. Making him fall off though is good fun. Oh, this is E. I'm at D. Dragon Slayer armor I think is a cool looking boss. I don't remember being necessarily that hard though. He does have like that one big charge. I remember, yeah, that right there. That one fucked me up a couple times. I'd probably give this one a B. I think this one's probably, meh. Either a B or a C, I can't decide. I'll probably give it a C. I think these are better in B. That's the DLC lady from uh, Dark Souls 2, right? The one where you jump down to the very bottom. And then she also summons a random enemy to fight with her, right? Oh my god, she was such a fucking pain in the ass. I I had, I think, more deaths to her than any other Dark Souls 2 boss. She was so fucking frustrating. And it wasn't even her, it was these goddamn skeletons, man. Bro, Mr. Bone's wild ride was going wild in this fucking fight. They were nutty. I guess not. Well, she summons, she summons someone big to help her. I'm gonna give her probably a B. Well, I'll give her an A. She was really challenging. And she made me really fucking frustrated, but I do think it was a pretty cool fight overall. Eh, I'm gonna drop it to a B just because she did do a lot of ad drop for the difficulty. Her herself didn't have that many mechanics, but she just kept summoning ads. Which is one of the more lame forms of difficulty. I didn't like Chariot very much. The OST's goaded. E tier is too low. I don't think it's nearly as bad as the other things in E tier. But I do not like it. I did not like Chariot, so probably D. Flame Lurker was cool. I did Flame Lurker on Demon Souls Remake using... It was the first boss I did and I was using the, uh... The fuck was... Was I using a mate? No. He has really high, like, strength defense. So you're not supposed to use, like, a strength-based weapon, but I did anyway. And it took me, like, fucking... Like, 20 attempts, but I finally got him. And it felt so good. Did I use a pickaxe or what, what did I use on him? It was something stupid. But yeah, Flame Lurker is great. I think Flame Lurker is a fantastic boss. Club, that's right. I was using the giant club because I was doing a caveman playthrough. Yeah, Flame Lurker is fantastic. That's A tier. Not a very challenging boss. Also not a very cool boss. I think it's just like a comfortable little C. How does he shit? Well, it's like cat dog. They don't really shit, they just... come. I don't know, man, I'm not a fucking... anatom... An, an, what's, what's a profession that just studies anatomy? I was gonna say anatomologist, but that's clearly not a real thing. Folding screen monkeys, I'm giving a B tier just because it's kind of frustrating, but I do like the folding screen monkeys. There really isn't a whole lot of fun to be had just chasing around endlessly. I think that was way overzealous, putting them in B off rip. I think C is much more comfortable. Especially because once you spawn, you just turn around and swing at the air and you kill the invisible monkey. I'll, I'll drop it one more for D, but I'm not budging on that. I still do think it's kind of a neat idea. Fool's Idol wasn't very good. She just This is kind of like Crystal Sage. She just spawns those clones of herself and you just keep attacking one. Unlike Crystal Sage, though, there's a tell on which one's real Fool's Idol. And maybe Crystal Sage has one, too, but you never really need to know it because you can just blast through all of them so quickly. I'm gonna give Fool's Idol E. I also do prefer Crystal Sage because at the very least it doesn't last that long, whereas Fool's Idol can take quite a bit because they're tankier. Four Kings kind of trash. This is the one where you're in the pure darkness and you just chase them to the back ends and just attack them a little bit. They don't really do anything, either. 
Like, you're just kind of the bad guy here. The four kings were just chilling, just fucking hanging out, and then you bust into their home and just beat the shit out of them. Well, easily. Is it as bad as something like Demon Fire Sage and Ancient Dragon? Nah, I'm going to D. It's not as bad. Aesthetically cool. Aesthetically cool in Four Kings. It's a cool place the fight happens, but it's just a boring fight, man. Fume Knight. Very overhyped, but still a cool boss. I think Fume Knight A. People are saying hardest boss in the game by far. I didn't get that impression. I don't remember how many tries it took me. I think it was still quite a bit. I think it was like eight tries or something, but... Cool fight, a bit overhyped. And it also does have that prestige where in Dark Souls 2, people immediately just say things like Fume Knight's unbeatable and shit. So I do like Fume Knight. B just for the whack. Oh, he does have wacky hitboxes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This dude's got some goofy goober shit for his hitboxes. I'm gonna keep it at an A, though. It's Dark Souls 2. It's full of jank. It's not exclusive to Fume Knight. Half the fucking game is janky. And I think Fume Knight's still cool. Gaping Dragon, I'm putting to a B. Cool design. Not a cool boss. Not a bad boss either, though. I remember when I first played through Dark Souls, I accidentally ran into the Gaping Dragon and was fucking terrified. I was hoarding so many souls, and I thought this was the right way to go. And I ended up accidentally finding this goddamn thing, and I was so upset because I knew I wasn't going to beat it first try. And I didn't. And then I died getting back to it, lost all my souls, and was so upset. Ginichido, I'm gonna give probably an A. I'm thinking A or B, and I can't decide which yet. The only reason I wouldn't put Ginichido at, like, an S or something is just because you fight him so many times. You fight the, you fight the guy, like, three times. So it really starts to overstay its welcome. It's a fun fight every time, but it's not like he drastically changes through those three fights. He just stays, stays exactly the same. You just have to keep beating his ass. It is the Spongebob meme of how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man. You fight him once in the beginning, you fight him once here, and you fight him once at the end. But it is a, he, he is a good boss. I'm gonna put him in an A. I don't want to disrespect him, he's cool. Giant Lord kind of sucks. Lame boss. This is the one when you're in the dream. Doesn't really do anything, you just keep blasting away at his ankles. He's got a bite on his little tootsies until he dies. I think this is definitely trashed here. This is F. Yeah, I'd say it's on this I'd say it's on par with the covetous demon. Gravelord Nido. Oh. A or S for me, I can't decide. I don't like the ads about him, but he's such a cool boss. I love Nido. Again, like I've said, I think adding tiny enemies, just little trash mobs to your boss fight in order to artificially make it harder is lazy. But Nido is still so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go A. Sif S. Boss fight kind of shitty with Sif, oh, I'll be the first to admit. But how can you not like Sif? And he comes back in the DLC and you get a little bit more from him. It's one of the, like, I don't know Dark Souls lore. I really don't know it very much. But in the Artorius DLC, you have Sif who's, like, captured and all sad and shit. And then you free Sif and he helps you fight, um... Fuck is that boss's name? Monus. It's so cool. Sif is so cool. Yeah, it's not a great fight. But when it comes to Sif, it's more than just a boss fight. And you feel bad too when you kill Sif. Especially after doing the DLC. You get a little special extra scene, right? You get like a little bit more from it. Sif absolutely S. For sure. Owl also S tier. I think Owl is a fucking great boss. Especially the improved version of Owl in, in Sekido. Are they separated, or is it just going to be one all-encompassing owl? Let me see. Oh no, they are separated. Okay, so then we'll do this. Standard owl, still cool. Father owl, which we'll just do now since we I brought it up. Father owl, even cooler.
Now, I don't think normal owl is very hard, but it's still, again, fun, cool, good boss, good design. Owl father beat the fuck out of me. That man absolutely fed me his ass. I was getting blasted by owl father. It was a significant, significant challenge increase. It, they, they completely revamped him to make him much, much harder. And I appreciated it. It was fun. I don't remember how many tries it took me on the most recent replay of Sekido, but it was a lot. It was definitely more than 10, I think. I'm honestly debating Guardian Ape between A and S. I think Guardian Ape is also one of those bosses where the first time you get to them, you're going to struggle. I think it's a fair fight, it's a hard fight, and it's going to make you a better player by the end of it. It's like that dad who teaches their kid how to drive a car by making them sit in the driver's seat, and then they just like fucking put a brick on the gas and you have to figure out like how to navigate it. Guardian Ape is just a really tough boss out the gate, and then it has a phase two, which no one expects first time around. I think Guardian Ape's probably S. And it's just a cool boss too. Oh, also, they did put a butthole on it, didn't they? I'm pretty sure Guardian Ape has an ass. And he farts and throws shit, which is also cool, but I'm pretty sure he also has a butthole. Which obviously is a shoe in for S tier. We have the goddamn Adjudicator up here, so... We really take into account those kind of things. Oh, this is the one in the cage. Lame. Super lame. This fight is literally just dodge that AoE fire and that's it. There is really nothing else. That's lame. I'm going E, to be honest. I think D is even a little generous, so I'm going E. Gwyn, I'm going B. Gwyn's not a super good fight. But it is a nice finale. And it's fun to get that instant parry when he does that jump attack on you to start. Oh, he didn't do it! Lame! Come on, man. How are you gonna fight Gwyn without getting that first parry? Yeah, I just didn't think Yobu was super cool. Just kind of a boss that attacks a couple times, then runs away, then you just latch onto him, attack a little bit, and runs away. Just not a fun fight. I'll probably give Yobu a C. As the Covenant boss, kind of like the Old Monk. Old Monk is fucking cool, though. He gives you that giant... Uh, that giant headgear, it's like a fucking beehive. And I don't think I actually did it, did it in PvP, so probably didn't help me very much. I'll just go ahead and put it in like C, since I A, don't remember it very well, and B, didn't do it in PvP in the first place. High Lord Wolnir, that's the one where he just hit his rings, right? Like on his wrists. This is another one of those things where the boss design is super cool, but the fight sucks. Disrespect is drip. Yeah. I'll probably give that one a D. It's just a pretty lame gimmick boss that just happens to look cool. Iron Golem's not bad. You can make him fall off and that's kind of cute. He just loses his footing so often. I would wager the majority of players who played this game, like on their first playthrough, just had this guy fall off completely by accident. It just happens so naturally, it almost seems scripted. I'll give him a C. Just because I think that's kind of fun. Well, yeah, I'm gonna give it a C. That's kind of fun. Non-Sword Saint Ishin B. Just a super easy version of Ishin. He doesn't do anything very cool. Very straightforward. Nice. I'm sticking with B there. Ishin Sword Saint is an S. That was so... I think it actually took me two hours the first time and I cheesed him. Sword Saint can just pop off. Plus, it's not only fucking... It's four phases, right? For Ishin, Ishin plus Genichiro, or is it... Hold on, I need to remember now. It's been a little bit. It's three. It's a four-phase fight because you have to go through Genichiro first, and then Ishin has three phases. 
It's so brutal. And he's cool. Like, he's just super cool. I think Sword Saint is by far the hardest in the game. And honestly, one of the hardest in all of Souls. Uh, Sword Saint and Orphan of Coast took me the most tries out of anything in Souls. Orphan of Coast took me 27, and Sword Saint, I think, took me more. I think it's a great fight. He takes out his Glock when the swords aren't working. True, he also just pulls out a fucking blaster. Yeah, there it is. Just starts letting it ride. I think he's fantastic. Such a good boss. Uh, this is just base Gundir. So we have to put him below champion Gundir. So B tier. Same thing, just not as cool as champion. Wrong boss, this is not the right one. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot all about the fucking slug. I completely fucking forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, n not cool King Allen slug monster man. That's an F. I think it's supposed to be shitty, obviously, because it's just King Allen devolved into, like, an actual pile of motor oil. And then, like, where's fake King Allen? Well, it doesn't seem like they even put... Oh, here it is. Old King Allen. I'd put the, like, like cool King Allen. Probably... Mm, probably A. I think he's a cool boss. Knight Artorius, that's it, that's an S. Artorius just slaps. Like, this is just no questions asked, easy S tier. I don't know where I'd put Lady Butterfly. Not bad. Definitely not, like, definitely not a C. I'm debating between A and B. I think B. Leechmonger, probably an F. Yep. That's definitely an S. Er, uh, F. Just a stupid fucking boss. Not fun. Dog shit. Nothing cool about it. I don't remember, does Looking Glass Knight do anything cool? Like, anything unique? Or is it pretty standard? I don't remember if that, like, mirror shield does anything. It's been too long. He can summon real players? Really? I don't... It's, you need to remember, when I recently replayed these, I had to do it offline because of hackers that can actually just corrupt your shit. So a lot of these PvP bosses, like the Half-Light Spear and I guess Looking Glass, I didn't get to experience the PvP parts of it. So I didn't know that. Seems like a pretty normal boss without the PvP. Nothing too crazy. I'll just go ahead and put that in. I'll just do B since I, don't, I didn't experience the P PvP with it. I don't remember this boss super well. I don't- I really don't remember the Lost Sinner. Uh, just from what I'm seeing here, it looks like a kind of lame boss. Kind of jumps around, mainly thrusts. Has like two swipes. I'll just go like a... I'll go C since I don't remember too much about it. Hey, here's the Lothric Prince. I like him. Now, are they div I need to look in the tier list if they're divided. I thought this was a cool fight. Not a super challenging one, but a cool one. Then the younger guy gets the piggyback ride halfway through. I think it's a cool fight. I don't think I'd put it in S tier, though. I think all of these fights in S tier, uh, bar the Adjudicator, are not only really cool fight and also not Sif are not only super cool fights, but also really challenging, whereas the Lothric Princes are pretty free. So I'm gonna go A. It's just like trash. It's just a reskin, so and you get yeah, two of them. Are all the same, okay? I think this is absolutely F. Damage. So, yeah, the second one. yeah, no fucking doubt. That's definitely F. Down there with the Leechmonger and Covetous Demon. Oh, this is the- oh yeah, this is just the girl that's sitting in the blood and you just beat the shit out of her for no reason. 
If you kill him, she offs herself. Okay, I guess that's what it is. The only boss in Dark Souls to kill itself on purpose. There's probably something to be said for that. Kind of unique. I'll just go for B. Not a great reason, but it's kind of different and wacky. Oh, 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 oh. It's this guy. This guy was fucking tough. Oh, this guy was really tough for me. I remember this. He transforms like three times. And he kept pushing me off the edge. And the terrain was not helpful at all. Like, he'd either get stuck in some shit, or I'd get stuck in some shit, and it just got so goofy. Or maybe a B, just because it was, like, actually challenging. Even though I don't know if it was necessarily the boss itself being challenging, or the fact that it was so easy to fall off or get stuck. We'll go see. Oh, Monus S. Monus is so cool. And you also have Sif that helps you fight him if you want Sif. Super cool. I think I think Monus is great. Very hard boss, very fun boss. It never really felt unfair. It just if you're trash, you get punished. That's just the way it is. Good boss. Probably the best boss in Dark Souls 1, I'd say. Medir, this will probably be controversial. I don't think Medir's S. I'd give Medir an A. I do like Medir. I thought Medir was cool, but I wouldn't necessarily put it in the S tier with the other ones. Definitely a cool a cool boss. Everyone remembers Medir fondly. I just prefer all the other ones in S tier. I don't think Medir quite gets up there. But it's still really good boss. Too much fucking HP, otherwise amazing. It's really tanky, but that doesn't bother me. I don't think it, having a lot of HP is a bad thing. It makes sense. I mean, it's a giant fucking dragon. It should be pretty tough to kill. It should take a lot. And I do think it probably is the best dragon boss. You'll notice that there is no other dragons in S tier. I think, on um, for the most part, most of the dragon bosses end up kind of not super interesting. Medir, though, is very interesting and very fun. It's either D or F for me, and I haven't decided yet. I'm leaning towards D, because I don't think it's as bad as, like, Covetous Demon and shit. Though, this is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be F. Never mind, I forgot that it doesn't do anything besides fly out there. It goes down quickly, though, so you don't have to stay too long. Super easy boss, super not cool boss. Carrying its own head... I guess it's kind of cool, just because she throws it and explodes, but just not a really cool boss overall. Not a very fun fight. I'm going to go D. I think D is probably the way that one's going to live. Nameless King is an S. I don't think this one needs any explaining either. Nameless King is just a classic. I actually died the most times to Nameless King than any other boss in Dark Souls 3 on my most recent playthrough. I've got Medir in 4 tries, I think I got Gale in 4 or 5 tries, but I, I could not kill the King of the Storm, man. Nameless King was just nutty. It took me like 17 tries on... Uh... What the fuck is Storm King? Is that the gimmick boss? Where you just like fire things at the floating mana rays? Yeah, it is. Also, I made up my mind on Storm King. I had plenty of time to think about it while the internet was getting fucking blasted or whatever. Uh, it's gonna be a C for me. Because at least it's kind of a fun gimmick boss. What if Putin is to attack Steam servers before Elden Ring releases? Well, then you're gonna have to get it on console. We Gamers have so many ways of playing. He can't stop them all. Alright. I think we can continue now. Nashandra is the final boss in Dark Souls 2. Well, at least the base final boss. And also one of the worst ones. I think she sucks. Cool design. I think she's a cool design. Looks like the Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas guy. But overall, so lame. Just so fucking lame. Doesn't do anything cool. Nothing interesting about the fight, really. 
I think I'd put Nashandra to D. Os Osiros, the Consumed King. That's like the goofy guy, right? Uh, like on your way to champion Gandir? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I killed him first try, so I didn't get to experience much of a challenge when fighting him. But I do think he is a pretty decently cool boss, albeit a little silly looking. I'd probably give him a B. And he also whines throughout the entire fight, which is kind of cool. I'll give him a B. Uh oh. Uh, hmm. Not a terrible boss. Not a great one. Very forgettable. I think I'd give it probably... Can't be, I can't decide between B and C. I think I'll go B for Old Demon King as well, to be honest. Wow. I didn't even remember they brought... Oh, this is after you kill the, uh, the little dragon on the way. You get the Ornstein rematch. But not nearly as cool. Yeah. I mean, I think it's supposed to be on the nose that this is Ornstein. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be, like, a reskin or anything. It's just supposed to be, here's Ornstein again. Yeah, I think it's fair to probably put it... I don't think it deserves to be an E. Just because it still is Ornstein. Ornstein's cool. I'll probably give it D. Old Hero's cool looking. I, I don't remember the fight being hard. The dude's just actually blind, so... You just wail on him. He looks dope. Yeah, he does. He really does. But it's just a super easy fight. I think uh, I think I'll just put it in B anyway, though, because he. I do think he's pretty cool. I really do think he's pretty cool. Medir's also blind. Yeah, but Medir doesn't have a mechanic where it's just like feeling his way around. Like it's super different. Old hero is like. Actually blind, looking for Braille on the walls. Medir, his lack of vision doesn't play into the fight. Who's the old Iron King? Is that the guy out in the, like, the deep lava? Yeah, it is. I remember there's a hole in this arena that just kills you. Just a hole in the middle of the arena that everyone without fail their first time falls in. This is like a really good fucking demon, or... Dark Souls 2 Rick Roll. I'll give it an E. Not a good fight. It's a boring fight. I did get to experience the PvP fight here, so this one was very cool. And this was also the birth of John Souls. And for that, that's gotta be S tier. Ornstein and Smog. Okay, obviously S tier. I mean, come on. I don't think anyone will ever put Ornstein and Smog in anything below highest tier. It's just such a fun fight, especially for its time. That still holds up so well. Wasn't that lame? I thought Penetrator was pretty lame. There's nothing really fun about the fight. It just... He kind of just does the same moves over and over. There's no variety to his attacks. I did think it was cool, though, that they hit his armor through so many layers of easter eggs that it took the community like a year to connect all the dots and actually access it. I really enjoyed that. It took less than a month, did it? I remember when Distortion was posting the videos so frequently, I thought it was over the course of like a month. I'll put Penetrator in C. Phalanx is that giant pile of slugs. This one's just boring. You just throw firebombs at it, and if you don't want to throw firebombs, you just be patient, take openings. This is probably E. I think this is just garbage. <laughs> it's nothing fun here. It's just fighting a sentient septic tank. I wouldn't put it F, I think these are worse. Pinwheel, easiest boss in Dark Souls, also a classic. That's gotta be, it's gotta be at least A. How can you not like Pinwheel? This is such a fun little fight. Just to make players feel good. A little reward. Like a little dessert.
And, but it's also the most stressful boss for people that are streaming the game. Because if you fuck up and take a death on pinwheel, chat will never let you hear the end of it. So there is real stakes with the pinwheel fight. See, like, Jerma just, he can't escape it. Even just bringing it up, people immediately bring up Jerma's death to pinwheel. It's just one of those things, man. People never forget when you die to pinwheel. So it's a very important boss, but also a really, really easy one. Thanks for resub, Devin. Sullivan, probably... Can't decide between A and S. I really do like Sul the Sullivan. I'll keep an S for now. Let me rewatch the fight. It's a really fun fight. Yeah, I think I'll stick with S. Just a cool boss, cool fight. Dual wielding flame plus the... Uh, fucking giant soul sword thing. Just cool. I'll keep it S. And the music slaps. Oh, is this the thing that happens inside that church? That really tight quarters? Yeah, it is. This is probably an E. This is exactly the kind of shit I hate. Super easy boss. The only difficult thing is they just throw a bunch of little enemies at you. Either an E or an F. I think I'll probably just go F. This is trash. The first challenging boss of Dark Souls 2, but there exists that fun way of killing him with the ballista. You just really blast him open, just spread his cheeks with it. I think it takes away, what, like... 80% of his health or something if you shoot the ballista at him. So even for bad players, there is an easy out for it. I'll give it a B. <clears throat> Royal Rat Authority's trash. Just a bad fight. Bath Salts, Master Splinter, and then he summons other little rats. Nothing cool about it. I'll give it E. Not as bad as the others. That's also in Dark Souls 2? What? How many royal rats were in this? I don't actually remember Vanguard. It's just a bunch of rats. Is this the is this the boss right here? It's just you fight all these little rats? And that's the van voice crack, and that's the Vanguard? Oh. Okay, that's gonna be an F. I don't think they're amazing, but I do think they're cool. And the stress that comes when you get all of them, or having to fight more than one. I'll give Rune Sentinels like a B. Uh, yeah, I'll give them the B. Very average. Yeah, the attacks might not be anything special, but it's a cool little Chimera thing. I'll give it a C. Oh, 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 she's like the great value uh, Q-Log. Yeah, 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 I remember her. Everything right they did with Q-Log, or Q-Lag, however you say it, they did wrong with Scorpioness. It's fundamentally the same design. Woman with titties out with the body of some kind of insect, but this fight just sucks. It's so boring. Man Scorpion Tark? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? What? <laughs> her husband. So you summon her husband to help fight. So you turn it into like a whole domestic abuse case. I've never- I never saw Man Scorpion Tark. Oh shit, it's The Rock. Good mummy reference. Yeah, that's some of the Mummy 2 shit. Look up Man Scorpion lore. Nah, I don't think I will. Uh, Scorpion S, probably T. As you can as quickly as possible. Be sure to hit as close to the tip as you can. Not an S tier, but probably A tier. Very cool looking boss, pretty fun fight. Around, you'll need to lure him a bit into the Reminds me of Stardust Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I think it's just an A. I think it's just easy A. I don't know if Sin's cooler than Medir though. So I'm thinking probably B.
Yeah. I think B is probably the play. Oh, Sir Alany, or however you say his name. I liked him a lot. He's the samurai guy. He was a really fun fight. Worst part about it was the run, though. I think the run back for this guy was one of the worst. I fucking hated it. But a cool fight. I think that's going to be an S tier, honestly. Oh yeah, true. He also has that cool mechanic where if you do it hitless, he kills himself. Only the second boss in all of Souls to... I guess, just take their own life. Yeah, because he does the seppuku. Oh, Sister... Oh, man. She's one of my favorites. I fucking love Sister Frida. So good. So fucking good. Honestly, one of the best in the entire series, really. This whole thing. So fucking good. Music slaps, the fight's really hard. It goes on a long time, too, so you really get to, like, dig your feet in. It's just, it's great. So then after you kill Sister Frida, then you get him coming out with the fucking pot. Man gets the latrine out, then you fight them both. So good. Skeleton Lords is E. I don't even know why I bothered to throw that back on. It's, it's E. You just fight garbage. Actual garbage. Slave Knight S. Ring City is just one of the best DLCs, man. It really is. I didn't think Gale was necessarily that hard. Like I said, I think it, I think I only took four tries, but it's such a good fight. Such a good boss. Actual chef kisses here. <clears throat> Smelter Demon's probably like a C or a D. I think I'll go with C. It's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that horrible either. Not like the other shit down here. Soul of Cinder's fun. I don't think it's amazing, but it is fun. Either B or A, I can't decide. Probably A. I actually really do like the Soul of Cinder design, but I don't think it's an amazing fight. Just a really cool climactic one. Great environment. Super cool arena it takes place in. His second phase is beautiful. OST is an S. Pretty much all Dark Souls music is an S, man. Dark Souls music just slaps. Stray Demon is again just the recolor or the reskin of the Abyssal or the Abyss. Or what the fuck is it? The Asylum Demon, Jesus. Okay, that's just gonna. I'm just gonna throw that in F. I, I just, again, don't ever really like repeat bosses, reskins, or whatever. It's just trash. This is the second boss that most players will fight, and it's pretty tough. They come out of the gate swinging, gets players acquainted to the difficulty. Most of them don't do the plunge attack to start either. Tight quarters, maybe they fall off, maybe they get lucky he falls off. It's just a really fun fight where a lot can happen, especially to people that are new to the franchise. I think it's a good one. I'll probably give it a B. Obviously it doesn't hold up super well in like modern souls as a boss, but for its time, just like what I did with the Abyss Demon, it was super important. Oh, uh, this is that spider boss. <sighs> Garbage. Ugh, better than Armored Spider. I hated Armored Spider so much more than this. Did I put Armored- I put Armored Spider in a D? I fucking hated that fight. I, mean, I guess I'll just put this in a D as well, even though I like this more than Armored Spider. Super easy boss, nothing super cool about him. This is pretty boring, honestly. Asshole face, yeah. I'll give this one probably an E. The protein? What the fuck is that? Oh, the rotten. Oh, what the fuck is the rotten? I don't remember that at all. He kind of looks like the leechmonger, but with people instead of leeches. Oh, I do remember this. This is the guy, uh... uh you go through, like, the abyss thing. There's a bunch of those worms that keep popping up, right? It's that guy, isn't it? At the very bottom of that. He's a super easy boss, right? He doesn't really do anything. Uh, we'll give... 
the rotten, probably like a C or a D. Not special, but not terrible either. The design's pretty cool, I'll give it a C. I remember there's a cheese for these guys where you just go off to the left. Not amazing, not terrible. This is probably also just like a comfortable C tier. I don't have any major complaints about it. I'll probably just throw that in C tier. A or B since he's memorable and cool. He is memorable and he is cool. As far as bosses where you just wail on their little feetsies, he's probably the best one. I'll give him a B tier. That's fair. I'm fine with that. True Corrupted Monk is the one that you fight on the bridge, right? Yes. That's probably an A tier. This one's great. I really like True Corrupted Monk. Yep. Easy. A. I, f I forgot this was even a boss fight. It's just Dragon Rider again, but now there's two of them and you can't make them fall off. I think this is probably just an E tier. Dragon Rider already wasn't that cool, but it's even lamer here. It's just kind of sad. Uh, that's just going to be an E. Nah, I'm not going to do an F because it's not nearly as bad as something like the Covetous Demon, because at least there's a fight here, right? Like, at least there's something to do here, unlike the other shit. So, E. Eh, you know, fuck it. Yeah, fine. I'll put it in an F. The first boss ever. Yeah, this is the guy that really started it all back in Demon Souls. You can jiggle his ass, S tier. True, he actually does have ass jiggle physics. Which is awesome. You see, every time that he gets hit, it's just full-blown shaking. It's really nice. Yeah, I think just for that, we'll put him an S up there with the Adjudicator. And he is genuinely like the first Souls boss. Bellstad, D tier in my opinion, shit boss for where he is in the game. He's not hard. Yeah, he's not a challenging boss at all. There's nothing special about like his actual fight. His moves, pretty generic, cookie cutter. So I'm not going to put him super high, but he is a cool design. I like his, uh, his armor. I'll probably give him like a C. Is this the malnourished old man with a big sword that he drags around? Vindrick hits hard when you first see him. Well, yeah, he one-shots you. This one I'm probably not even going to put in C, though, because the fight is even less interesting than Velstad. But I do like Vindrick. Vort's tough for me because he's not a good boss. He's a free kill, basically, but my god, the soundtrack has transcended souls. I'm sure everyone everywhere has heard this at some point in their life by this point. It is so fucking high. It is. But you can't deny how hype everyone got with Vort the first time. And like I said, the boss is cool looking. The soundtrack is probably one of the best there is in souls. I still really like the Vort soundtrack so much. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with A. I, I do like Vort. I like Vort a lot. I'll probably go... Eh, I'll probably go B. B or C. Can't decide. I'll go B. Feet tier. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, she is barefoot. Oh, nice. I think I'll go C. I actually don't remember the fight, I just remember the character. Here we go, baby, we're into Bloodborne now. Alright, we're getting to my favorite boss in Souls. Every- so in Bloodborne, every boss is so fucking cool. There's not a single bad design in all of Bloodborne for like anything. Oh god, the game is so good. I love Bloodborne, man. Um, for Amygdala... Probably a B tier. Most people when they fight this use the pungent cocktails in order to get it to the corner and cheese it. But if you actually fight this bad boy heads up, he will blast you, man. This guy will rip your dick off. It can just go in. It has a crazy combo game. Either way, okay, I'm getting lost. Uh, Bloodstar Beast is an A tier for me. I think it's a great boss.
actual shit boss fight, though. Probably one of the worst in the game, I'd say. But I really like these goofy little guys. And then they, like, come together to form a Megazord testicle. Or, actually, I think one of them just transforms straight up. I don't think they come together. I don't remember. Let me see. When does he come out? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah. A stupid fight. Not a fun fight at all. But I like the design. That's probably just going to be a, probably an E tier. Well, yeah, probably an E tier. It has to be, unfortunately. Cleric Beast was the first boss I fought in Bloodborne. And I was struggling. I kept trying to, like, shoot it in order to get the visceral. And I just couldn't fucking do it. I was, I was so dumb. I just wasted so much time. It's a great first boss, though, for Bloodborne. I thought it was fantastic. It is iconic. I can't give it an S tier, though. It's gonna have to be an A tier. Dark Beast Parl's kind of just a sad throwaway. It's a really not good boss. It just dies super quickly and it doesn't do much. It's mainly just a couple AoEs. I'll probably give it a C. Ooh, Ebriatus. Oh. Such a tough boss. There's so much dog shit with this boss, though. It's not just hard by design. There's some real jank to the Abriatus hitboxes. Especially, like, her little, like, swooping fucking bombing run. Like, carpet bombing. It has some jank to that hitbox. But still a really cool boss fight. Hardest boss in the game, in my opinion. We'll get to the hardest one. I think Abriatus is second for me. Plus, another thing, she has so many little tentacles and little, like, hairs that make it, like, obstruct your view and make it hard to find yourself in space. So there's just a lot of factors here that make Abriatus fucking rough. But still, overall, a really cool boss. I don't think I can give her an S tier, though. I think I'm gonna have to go A again. Such a great boss. And the lore is cool, too. I think Father G's an S. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them soon. I think the fight's a little too easy. But still a really, really good fight regardless. Especially for, like, second boss. Really fun, really cool. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Father G's S, baby. Oh, Garmin. Tonight, Garmin joins the hunt. Oh, such a great line, too. Yeah, this is back to back S, I think. Garmin's just awesome. And also, just the environment for the fight is so good, too. Lady Maria was great. She was really easy, but awesome. I wouldn't say she was really easy. I think I actually got her first try, but I still think the moveset's pretty good. Like, it's a pretty tough moveset for a lot of players, I imagine. She's inspired by Frida. And Sister Frida's up here. Sister Frida's probably my second favorite boss in the entire Soulsborne franchise. His boss was pretty cool. Not, like, amazing. It definitely wasn't easy. It took me quite a few tries, actually. But I don't think there was anything super special about the boss. I'm thinking probably a B tier. It's definitely not a reskin. There's definitely a lot more than just a reskin. It's just the same general design, because they're supposed to be of the same race, I believe, right? So it makes sense that they're similar, but it's a lot harder. So I think I'm going to give this one probably a B. Living Failures. Oh, this is from the guys that just, like, worship the moon, right? They summon the meteor. Is uh, that what it is? Yeah, this is not a fun fight. You just go through a bunch of them. That's all. Just clearing up trash. That's probably going to be... Where did I put Celestial Emissary? I think they're a little bit better than the Celestial Emissary, so I'm going to put them in D. 
And I think the only reason I like them more than the Celestial Emissary is just because I think it's really goofy that they just keep, like, their arms up the entire time and then throw their head down. Not a great boss, though, by any means. Hey, Ludwig the Holy Blade. I got super lucky on my first playthrough of the DLC when we streamed it. Because on second phase, which is apparently when he pops off, he just locked himself into the same three attacks and just let me beat the shit out of him. Super cool boss, though. I think Ludwig the Accursed is fantastic. So fucking cool. Yeah, that's definitely S tier. Man, there's already four S tier Bloodborne bosses. And this is what I'm talking about with the asshole physics. Or the asshole animation. Or design. They took the time, the painstaking effort to model a little butthole on the boars. This is just Chalice Demon, or Dungeon I know, but still, you get to see the butthole. What I would have really liked though from future From Software games where they want to include buttholes, I wish it would do what Red Dead did where the horse testicles shrink. They should have the butthole kind of like pucker a little bit and maybe like pulsate. I think it'd be cool, like a nice little quality of life change. I don't think it'll be S tier though, I'm thinking A tier for Ligarius. I do really like it, but I think that I, I really don't like in the second part, um, uh, the jump spell, whatever the fuck it was. I thought it was bullshit, made me mad, made me upset. I'm thinking A tier. Not S tier, probably A tier. This is probably one of the, probably like a C tier. You just chase the guy around, kill some ads. But yeah, you just genuinely chase this guy around for so long. It's not fun. Not a fun fight at all. Mikalash probably gonna go either C or D for me. I'm thinking D. This one was super fucking cool. I don't think it's an S, but I'm thinking either an A. I guess maybe a B. I think B's a little low though. fight is ridiculous. It's, it has like two attacks and no health. I thought it had more than that. Doesn't it have like three different jump attacks? I think I'll, uh, I think I'll stick with B. You're probably right. You, I, I don't remember the Moon Presence moveset that well. So I'll go B. Fine. Very cool looking boss though. Well, I guess gimmick boss is the wrong word. Just not a fun boss. Boring boss. It's not really a gimmick. This is boring. I think I'm gonna go E. Except maybe Celestial Emissary. In fact, just... Yeah, I'm gonna drag Celestial Emissary down. I think that's only fair. That is probably the worst boss in Bloodborne, to be fair. And here it is. The Orphan of Kos, Orphan of Kos, however you say it. Absolute S tier and my favorite boss in all of Souls. I love the Orphan. It is such a beautifully designed fight. Brutal. It, it is the boss that I took the most deaths on. It took me 27 tries to kill Orphan. And I loved every second of it when I finally beat it. It doesn't feel unfair. I guess maybe there's a little jank on this hitbox here for that, like, uh, pus sack thing. It can kind of hit you in wacky ways, but... It's just so good. The Orphan of Cost is just an amazing boss. Sometimes you'll get one shot, sometimes you'll get comboed out of this fucking dimension. And every time it is just... It's so good. I think Orphan, hands down, best boss in all of Souls games up until this point. Vacuous Spider. I actually hated that boss. Rom. I just thought this whole thing was bad. I really didn't like Rom at all. Not Nothing really cool to say about Rom. That's just D for me. Shadows of Yarnum were cool. Just like a bunch of Nazgul. 
Eh, I'll give it B. I still think it's a fun fight. I don't think Amelia's average at all. I think Amelia's great. Yep. Amelia into A tier. I like Amelia. I think Amelia's great. Witch of Hemwick is trash. This is just that, like, old, fragile lady that you chase around. Someone's grandmother got let loose and she just goes invisible, so you have to go hit her a few times or something. Not fun at all. I wouldn't say she's as bad as Celestial Emissary, though. I'd say they're about even. I'm gonna put her at F tier. I did not do her, though. We didn't go this far in the Chalice Dungeons. So I can't say where she'd fall on the tier list, but she seems like a cool fight. We did it! Every boss, except Chalice Dungeons, ranked. God damn. So many good fucking bosses.